Hello, I'm Entralism and welcome to Stellaris. So, recently the Lithoid pack came out for Stellaris, and the Lithoid pack allows you to play as rocks. Lithoid, uh, Lithuus, Lithu Lithuanian, uh, not not Lithuanian. Uh, I mean, they could be Lithuanian rocks, but the point is that Lith, Lith rock, rock, Lithoid, rock people, whatever. Anyway, and we're going to play as some rock people, so we're going to do a new game, and we're going to be playing as the Abyssal Extrusion. Uh, we are Ignians. Lithoids, and uh, I've made this species ready. We've got a new ship, the Lithoid ship, mm, from Arid Planet. And we are actually a hive mind. And I wanted to do this because uh, a couple of reasons. Firstly, it's kind of synergistic. So as Lithoids, we get population growth speed minus 25%, habitability plus 50%, I mean, we're rocks, uh, army health plus 50%, leader lifespan plus 50 years, and we consume minerals instead of food. Hive-minded, we're not affected by happiness. Talented, leader level cap plus one. So anytime you get a species that can live for ages, I like to increase the level cap so that you don't go, oh, I, I maxed my level cap. Well, I guess I'm just going to have this for a while. No, no, we can just keep upping our level cap. Slow learners, we get less experience, but that's fine. We live a long time. Also, we're rocks. I kind of think it makes sense that it takes a while for us to learn new things, so... Enduring, plus 20 years lifespan. I was tempted to go for, like, the like venerable, which is plus... 80 years, but it's so expensive as a trait. So we've got like a plus 70 year lifespan now. And also, industrious, plus 15% minerals from jobs. That's going to be really handy since we need minerals for everything. And sedentary. I don't like sedentary as a trait because I like to move my populations around. But in this case, sedentary sounds a bit like sedimentary. And also we're rocks, so it makes a lot of sense. It's hard for them to move around. Uh, we are a hive mind, so we've got population growth speed plus 25%, so that balances out the growth speed issue we have from being rocks. And we've got pooled knowledge, leader level cap plus one, and leader pool size plus one, so our level cap is like plus two now. And Devouring Swarm! Now, Devouring Swarm is uh, actually not Devouring Swarm, it's actually Terravore, but it only shows up as Terravore if you go into here. Terravore, there you go. And then it, I think it weirdly changes if you save and come out. Yeah. It says Terravore when you mouse over it, but it's it's a bug. Uh, basically, Devouring Swarm is what we get for Hive Mind, but if you are a Hive Mind and a Lithoid, you become a Terravore. Uh, you cannot engage in diplomacy, cannot access the Galactic Market, cannot terraform planets, but you have the hunger Cassus Belli on all other empires. And you gain society research from eating them. And you gain a load of stuff like ship hull points. Daily armor regen, star base influence cost decreased by 50%, army damage increased, research speed biology increased, ship cost reduced, naval... Qu I kind of think that maybe research speed biology should not be the thing you get for Terravor, like it should be like an engineering thing or something, uh, but this basically means everyone will want to kill us and we will eat everyone. We can also consume worlds! We get the consume world planetary decision, which allows us to just eat a planet, which is great. So we're going to be you... And we are going to play on a, um, we probably won't play to like the end of the galaxy, but sure, we'll play large. I, I kind of like the large galaxies just for the options you get. Everyone will want to kill us though. Like this is going to be rough. And I kind of feel that everything here is pretty good. Fallen Empires, we're up here, Advanced AI Starts, AI Empire. Like, one to two. We'll lower that a little bit, just because everyone will want to kill us straight away. Crisis strength, let's up that to, like, a three times crisis, or two and a half times crisis? Yeah. Do you say what each difficulty does? Here we go. No bonuses yet. Yeah, I always play on Ensign. Just wanted to check, but yeah, Ensign is the... No one gets a bonus. I personally prefer to give myself handicaps in other ways to make it more difficult. Like, everyone hates me. Rather than going with something like, Yeah, I'm going to give a bonus to the AI that you don't get. I always find that annoying. Scaling, difficulty, no. Air aggressiveness, normal. Empire placement, random. Uh, that's all fine. 
Okay, let's do it. Now I've got two mods on, both of which are just visual mods. I think it's called like Enhanced Space Battles and Enhanced Space Battles Increased Particle Density. Uh, basically, Stellaris has a cap to the particles it can have just to avoid you overloading systems and so on. It'd be like, hey, you can only have like 10,000 particles. And if you have, say, a gun that fires and you're like, yeah, I've got 10,000 particles, it doesn't do anything. It does damage, but you can't see it visually because the game's like, you can't have a particle for that. So that basically removes that limit or at least sets it much higher. Uh, the great hunger drove us forwards. Even before the mind was capable of processing a complex thought, we hunted, we fed, we grew. As prey began to grow scarce, the ravenous yearning to grow forced us to adapt. We used tools and devised new strategies as we feasted upon the surface of Igniatus. We nearly caused our own destruction, but the mind eventually came to a horrifying conclusion. Igniatus was finite. When we had consumed this world, there would be nothing left to sustain us. Forced to adapt once again, the mind carefully rationed minerals while new tools were invented. The atom was eventually split and we developed spaceflight. While the discovery of FTL drives, the mind howled with triumph other planets and their bounties were now finally within reach. We will consume them all. So, let's sustain. Hi there, let's sustain. What we got? We have got a three mineral here. We've got some engineering over here. Right. We've got our three corvettes. Construction ship, science ship. Hello. Right, well, I guess... Uh... Oh, nice, we're at the edge. That gives us a good defensible position. That's going to be an important point. Because that is going to be a choke. Uh, looks like this is going to be a choke as well. So if we can try and set up in these choke points, I'll be happy. And then construction ship. We'll build a mining station around there. That'll pay itself back in three years time. That said, actually, what's our research right now? 19 engineering, so the three here wouldn't make a huge difference. All right, what we got? Uh, we're going to go fusion reactor. Monthly unity plus two. And... Hangar bay is a bit too large for our ships, really. Engineering from researchers, maybe, but we won't have a lot of those going on. Honestly, most of these are pretty trash. Uh, Nebula refinery is fine, I guess. Mining station output plus 10%. I guess that's what we'll go for. Over here, what have we got? The Hive Warren. Spawning pool. Yes, we use a spawning pool. I guess that's where we spawn the rocks in the pool. It's a pool of magma. Underground. There we go. Um, Alloy foundry. Yes. Research lab. Maintenance depot. Sure. We could do a more mining. Still taking me ages to get used to this whole new setup. Like, I've played 500 hours to Laris, over 500 hours, and they've changed some things pretty drastically during that time. And so coming back, even after they made these changes like a year ago, I'm still trying to get back to grips with them. Because I have, you know, 300 hours or 350 hours or whatever in the previous editions where it's like, okay... What we got over here? Baron world. Oh, I clicked uh, explore rather than survey. Whoops, my bad. And we want to survey this one as well, but that's like one, two, three, four jumps away as opposed to two. 
Uh, we will want to build a new science ship. Construction complete. I love the voice of the lithoids. It's so good. Construction complete. Thank you, lithoids. Uh, we'll quickly get ourselves a energy base there. Because even though energy looks fine at the moment, it always runs out. Construction complete. Okay, we got our next science ship. Who are we going to recruit? Um, genius research speed. We would have got a few manacle ones. I guess we could go for the archaeology one. They're all quite old. They only start to die at 150, though. Uh, I guess we'll go for the genius. Oh, we don't have the energy? Well, okay. I guess we won't go for the genius, then. We're going to have to wait on that one. Discover of alien life. Excellent. Can we eat it? If we can eat it, then yay. Accretion complete. Okay, we got the mining station. I think we we'll just save up. Get ourselves the ability to go to the next sub system and grab this. It is only a fourteen. The Yut Empire. Ooh, got ourselves a minor artifact. Situation log updated. So we've got ourselves evidence of the precursors, which is the Yuts this time around. Though it's got a minor artifact. Have they split artifacts into like minor and major artifacts? They might have done that a long time ago. Uh, we've got plenty of minerals now. We can start building our. Colony ship. Oh, we need another 10. That takes one month. Notice, by the way, how I clicked on the planet, because I was like, I want to build a ship. And it's like, no, we do that at shipyards now. I know it's been a thing for like a year. Okay, get that working. And we have enough to get ourselves a scientist. So we're going to recruit you. And then we're going to replace um, technology. We're going to replace you because you only get 5% from Manacle, whereas you get a 10% from Genius. And then we can tell you to... I'm just going to go explore for now. Because I want to find out what's in the system before we commit to it. Because we said, could send our colony ship to here, but we could have a better ship, a uh, better planet here or here. Because the game always gives you, I think it's two to three planets nearby that are your flavor. So there'll probably be arid planets here and here. So I want to see if there's a bigger one or a better one. Like this is not great at mining. A lot of terraforming blockers. And it doesn't look like we've got any planets over here at all that we can use. So slow. Ships are so slow at this point in the game. There we go, an arid 23. Survey that system. That's our one, I think. Also, the shipyard. Can we, like, give you any upgrades at this point? No. 500 alloy is just way too expensive right now. 
And we probably want to get ourselves a decent sized navy straight away just because we know we're going to be attacked and we get a lot from attacking people. Um, what do I want to put in? Could go for another alloy foundry. Yeah, I'm tempted by just an alloy foundry. Bioreactor. Um, we don't use bio, but sure. Okay. Yeah, I think what we'll do is probably end up going alloy foundry here. Anomaly found. Uh, research. It's challenging, but I'm sure you got this. That'll cost us minerals, but at the same time, having the alloy is going to be really handy. Traditions! Okay. Uh, tradition here, we know we're going fighting. It's pretty damn tempting to go supremacy or domination. Obviously expansion, but eh. The population growth speed is nice. Probably got to be supremacy. Governor level cap increased by two. That means our governor's a level nine. Ruler level cap. Ruler be level nine. Crime reduction. Mino drone. Eh. Monthly influence plus one and clear blocker area reduced. Pretty tempting. But over here, starbase capacity increased by 2. Army damage increased by 20%. Ship fire increased by 10%. That's so good. Ship upkeep reduction. Admiral level cap increased by 2. Yeah, we're going supremacy. It's just the way it has to be. Okay, you do your science. Taking a while to go over here. Colony ship. Get your ass over here. One unemployment. Yeah, we'll fix that. Gigantic skeleton. Sorry, uh... Control shift, that way you'll do it first. Right. How good a planet is it? Twenty-two size. It's not got great mining still. It's good for agriculture, which sucks. <sighs> what are we lacking? We are lacking full survey. Okay, get yourself over here. Get ready to finish that off. System geology charted. It is fully surveyed. Build your starbase. Right. Uh, we'll go survey, 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 survey. 
Mission complete. Right. And that increases our output of alloy. Nice. We've still got one job available, so we're probably okay for a while. And we've got available houses eight. Yeah, we're good for a while here. Uh, we'll leave you to do your thing. I kind of wish we could just, like, up your population. Is there a decision to help with that? Stop population growth. Deploy hunter killers. Incorporate artifact relay. Oh. Interesting. Artifacts now do a thing. Some drones on the planet each provide menial drone output and stability. Yeah. Again, we don't need to worry too much about that being a hive. We've discovered a new archaeological site. Giant space structure. A large dark space station is trapped in a slow terminal orbit. Sign a scientist. You cannot excavate sites outside your empire. Okay. Fine. I guess we'll do it another time. That had only just come in the last time I played, so that's still relatively new to me. Project complete. It's an organic spaceship. Ooh. Catastrophic damage and crash landed. Okay. Accretion complete. Right, you've built that. You can colonize the planet, and I think we could name the planets or something. Um, no, probably not. We'll just name our spaceship classes. Anomaly found. Whoa, that is hellish. I'm gonna leave B for now. That is research time is like, what, 13 years or something? Damn. Yeah, it's tier 10. Holy crap, I've never seen a tier 10. This is tier 5. I'm gonna leave B. Wow, that must be like some sort of ancient precursor home system. Sorry, it's tier 6. Damn. We'll come back here later. This is quite a busy system. System survey complete. Right. Construction ship. Build mining stations. And then build mining stations over here. Pretty normal system there. This is a very busy system. Look at all those little things. Uh, we will probably want to go for... I mean, fire rate's nice, but it doesn't do anything for us right now. Naval upkeep reduction. Build cost reduction. Build speed increase. You know what? That's much more tempting. Because if we're attacked, we need to be able to ramp up. I also think we probably will want to start building some corvettes. In which case, we should probably look at our corvettes. Interesting. Also asymmetrical. Very glowy. Uh, right, new design. Corvette. Design name. This is going to be based on the Patreon name list. Oh, so those of you wondering, I have a Patreon name list. Uh, Patreon supporters can support the channel by being on Patreon, supporting, you know, the drill probably. Um, I draw people from a certain tier and above in a name list, and then they randomly get put in. And so I have a name list I'm using. Uh, Todd the Squid. Okay, this is going to be the squid class. How close are we on our research, actually? This matters. 
because we are researching a new reactor. Not that close. Okay. We can upgrade. Uh, wrong one. Missile boat. Interceptor picket ship. Do we have... We do a nuclear missile. Hmm. Yeah, let's go for that. And then we'll put on a red laser to deal with the armor. Right, that seems good to me. And you are... Or design takes control of upgrading and changing the ships. Uh, okay. How can I stop you doing that auto design? Because I hate auto design. Why are you on by default? What the hell is that? Squid. Save. Delete that. I'll upgrade you. And then... Fleet manager... Auto best. Hmm? There we go. No longer auto best. I will get them two new ships. Ships upgraded. Anomaly found. Yeah, we'll do that. We'll reinforce. Going up to five is probably a good idea. Uh, massive storms visible in the upper atmosphere. Uh, research. Architectural interest. Oh. Not a bad trait to have. That's a lot of energy there. Is that in like two things or three things or three things? Okay. Science over here. Guess I'll some more engineering. Oh, there we go. Look at our energy. Anomaly found. That is a bit of a problem. Plus zero. I think we'll have to go over here and grab this nine. We can also grab the nine minerals at the same time. Which is in... There's a six? Jeez. That's good. Is there a three as well? We're missing. Yes, there we are. Now we're negative? Almost negative one. Okay. System geology charted. Mummified pilot. A tragic fate. Innovation rollout. And that gets us our monthly unity plus two additional edict. Right, new research. Leader cost, pool size decrease, um, clear tile blockers. You know what? Adaptive bureaucracy is probably the way to go. Not you think we'd have much bureaucracy being rocks, being a hive mind of rocks. We're pretty dense. There we go. That's my first rock pun. It took a while to get there, but we did. We got a rock pun in. It's fine. I think I'll just make all the titles of the episodes like rock puns or something. I think we will also want our construction ship, now it's done, to come down here. Because we're going to want to take this system. system survey complete. Done. Also, do we have any new decisions we can use? No. Ooh. 
Uh, where's the edicts? Here we go. Map the stars. That's 11 years, service speed plus 25%, anomaly discovery chance. You know what? That's probably totally worthwhile. And then war drone campaign, army damage, leader experience. That's probably a really good kickoff when we start fighting. Uh, population growth speed. Ooh. You know what? Yes. Population growth speed boost right now is going to be very helpful. Anomaly found. Unusual energy readings. Do a research. Some scientist level ups, they're nice. Okay. Anomaly found. Very hard. Uh, leave it be for now. That's a tier eight. Wow. It's much higher research things turning up than they used to be. Attrition complete. Okay, build all the mining stations. Uh, what do we have over here? Ship upkeep reduction. Yeah, we'll go for that. System geology charted. Magnetic reversal, we get a whole load of science points. Nice. We should try and expand up here when we can to grab this, because then we can start cutting off our little section of the galaxy. Uh, we can cut off here, we can cut off here, or we can cut off here. So we've got a lovely like selection of points to cut off at. We're probably going to encounter a race if we go too far this way, though. Similarly over here, I imagine there's a race starting like there. Or maybe one of these. Rocket new tech. Right, zero-g refineries. Plus 20% minerals from miners. Uh... Hell yes, I know we're meant to be, like, marshaled, but we need our minerals. System survey complete. Anomaly found. That's another level 8. We'll leave that be. Right, energy's going positive now. Barely, but it is. And minerals are looking very good. And another scientist levels up. Sweet. Oh, hello. A six mineral world and a four physics star? Do not mind if I do. System geology charted. Okay, you can start going that way when you're done. And you... Can start going that way. Anomaly found. Uh, yeah, research that. It took you half a year. It is level three. Colony form. And we have a colony. Unemployed pops. Perfect. Uh, we could go for something here in this slot. Mm. I kind of think for now we just want to go like maybe like an energy thing or something. Bioreactor, upkeep is food. Uh, we don't have food. I feel that this is a small mistake they've made where they're like, yeah, you have bioreactor because you're a terror devourer thing. Devouring swarm, effectively. Terravore is the, the just the renamed. It doesn't make sense for us because we don't have food. So bioreactor makes no sense. We literally can't use it. 
So I think we've just got to get ourselves an extra generator district. Attrition complete. Wait for you to level up a little bit. And then you finish doing all the stuff over here. Perfect. We're only making one energy though, so we've got to be a bit cautious about that. We're still on that negative energy, uh, which is the problem. But overall, not a bad start. It's going to be a problem when we bump into enemy sieves, because they're going to want to kill us. And maybe not without, you know, good reason, arguably, because we want to eat them. But for now, I've been Enterrealism. Really Hopefully you enjoyed. If you have, uh, like, subscribe, hit the bell icon like you really need to hit the bell again because Scrum does nothing these days. Uh, but also, leave me a comment down below. Uh, it's always good to know if you want me to play uh, new games, old games, a new series, is new content, etc. So knowing that you want to, me to play like more Lithoid stuff or more Stellaris in general, uh, it really does help. So if you can leave the comments down below and of course do the, the like and subscribing stuff as well. But that allows me to know that you want me to play more Stellaris and play more Lithoids, etc. Uh, and you know, when the Federation DLC comes around, which is coming in about a uh, couple of months or whatever, um, that will be good information for me, so then you'll get more, more Stellaris. Likewise, if you don't want me to play more Stellaris, let me know about it as well. So, yeah. Anyway, I've been at Rodicine. Thank you very much for watching, and until next time, stay shiny. <laughs>